dance when the bass hit. Dab on the spaceship. Me and all my motherfucking homies going A shit. I'm hella high, bruh. I cannot lie, bruh. I got that motherfucking look in my tutorial on how to make your 4 channel mixer have an aux bed sub so as you can see in this mixer you just see only main left and main right and there's no aux out for or aux knob for the aux outputs that would go to our sub so that we could separate the vocals and this and it will not go in the subwoofer directly so what you're gonna do today is I'm gonna teach you how to set up your aux bed sub but you will sacrifice your Dolby or I mean stereoization in MP3 but it will do the job so first thing that we should do is we should have our cables okay? so here's our cable so I'll be connecting the cable for a while okay so here's our cable so white will be left here then red is here then we're gonna be going down to our next processor chain so we're gonna go back to our processor and here's the section okay so as you can see here this is the back of our equalizer so this equalizer is I really made it for the for the mid high so the, the thing that we should do is you can see this white this white would be for our mid high so it will be input on our channel 1 on our equalizer then the red one would be our sub would be channel 2 to our channel 1 of our crossover so be connecting it there we go then this is the the cable for the mid high amp and here it is white red so I used a, a mono to st stereo adapter and I'll be inserting it on our equalizer here on our ch channel 1 left mid high of our mixer okay then I have here is the cable to our going to our sub so I'll be connecting it to the low LF sum of our crossover here low LF sum of our crossover and then I'll be connecting it to our to our power amp of our subwoofer amp here it goes there so the next thing that we should do is we're gonna be setting up the the right adjustments for our processors in front okay okay so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna be turning on our processor and our mixer so turn it on there you go you can see the light is on so I've set up that this channel one is input from our from our okay wait Okay, so here is our signal processor. So here, channel one is going to our mid high. So what I did is I turned down the volume of the low in this equalizer, so it will not go into our mid high, which can destroy it later on while cranking it up. And here's channel two; it's vacant and it's bypassed. So here is our crossover, and you could see the settings. I max the input because my mixer has a low headroom and. I just set the frequency so that you could barely hear and feel it and then here is the low so it's in full tilt as I'll be controlling the volume from the mixer so and our high output will be low of course then on our mixer I'll show you what your settings would be so I'll be turning on my power amp first as you can see here turning them on there so full tilt I'll then let's proceed to our mixer okay so I've shown you earlier that I've set up this as left mid high and red for the sub I mean the right channel will be for the sub so I'll be inserting this uh, this cable this our mp2 player and let's see how it sounds on our system so it's centered so the signal will be both going to the left and the right channel okay so I'll be inserting it on my laptop here. And I'll be playing this uh, this song here. So let's try some drum test. I'm gonna be see if this would do something. Okay, so our left would be the mid high, so I'll put it in the left 
and it okay and I play this music could barely hit that right then I put it in the right there would only be the sub hear that on your microphone and if I put it on the center both speakers will make sound that's how Oxfed works so when we try it on the microphone okay let me pause the widget I'll just get the microphone so that you can see the difference of having um, this kind of setup versus having the same setup as aux okay okay so I'll be speaking on the microphone so as you can see my voice is in the mic as you can see my voice is clearly heard on the microphone if you can hear it on the camera as you can see so you can see my voice oh, okay you can hear it on the sub like this right so when I pan it on the moon, you can hear it on the sub, it's vibrating, right? So if we put it only on the left channel, our voice will be clear and the sub will not create much noise and it will shoot in a more very good quality. Okay, so this is the test if you do this Oxford method like it's the same as the Oxford method. So thank you for watching, as you can see, we have better um, acoustics when we do this kind of set up on our system. Okay, thank you for watching. This is Grab Russ from more tutorials.